Thank you, Mr. Kern. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I'll be uh, really brief. This is obviously an issue that's been going on for quite a while, but I still think there's a lot of education going on out there. Um, just going to use the example of, of a seed, of a straight corn seed. You take that corn seed, it's just a seed. It's not at this point necessarily organic. I know they sell organic seeds, but for the sake of argument, it's just a seed. You take the seed, you plant it. If you use organic fertilizers, no pesticides, etc., it's organic. If you use uh, chemical-based fertilizers, uh, pesticides, it's normal, um, what we're, kind of what we're used to, or um, generic. Um, the GMO seed is actually genetically modified in many different levels, up to like 18 different traits, to the point where you can spray Roundup on it, and it will not die. That is crazy. You take any of the other seed, the other seed, which is either grown um, organically or conventionally, and spray Roundup on it, it will die. Worse than that is when it cross-pollinates and it spreads into another person's farm, you, they, the Monsantos or whatever other GMO company can go over there and sue that, comp sue that farmer, big or small, for intellectual property rights. This is crazy. I mean, labeling is just the first step. Hawaii County should be GMO free. The state of Hawaii should be GMO free. I wish we could make an example and start right here with Hawaii County. With that, I yield. Thank you, Mr. Kern.